Hello Warriors, I'm Brooklyn Farmer. And I'm Cameron Jones. Today's April 15th. And this is episode 16 of Warrior, Warrior News. Today's news features are Library, Debate, and Drama Club. Now let's go to the Sign Language Word of the Week. This week's Sign Language Phrase of the Week is Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Thanks for watching and have a great week, Warriors. Our first news story is about library. Let's check it out. In today's news story, we'll be talking about how the Library Central helps students. Well, first off, reading's fun. Um, you get to travel to different places, learn about different people. Um, and also, there's huge statistics that show that the more you read, um, the better you do in school, um, the better you do on standardized testing. So it's important to read in different facets of life. The reason I love the library is because it's a safe place for me to come and study. Ms. Teff is great assistance when you're trying to do a project or looking for a book. My favorite book of all time is easily Webster's International Third Dictionary. April is um, National School Library Month, so this month, in addition to it being School Library Month, it's also Poetry Month. So we'll have lots of different activities going on here in the library. Be sure to look at the TVs for announcements for those and look around the hallways to find out ways to win prizes um, and celebrate here in the library. Thank you. Our students here at Central are really thankful for such a great library. Our next news story is about debate. Debate and Forensics is a popular elective for Central to help your argumentative skills and public speaking skills. Forensics helps you think quick on your feet in things like impromptu and improv. Here are some Debate and Forensics students to talk more about it. Um, debate is a class where we have a whole bunch of opportunities to discuss uh, political topics, current events, and uh, philosophical um, questions. Debate is where we prep events and then we go to competitions and we use our skills that we have learned in the past and really like represent that to judges. Um, it's a really good opportunity for me to like foster growth because I have to do a lot of extemporaneous speaking which is like speaking like on the dot like n impromptu um, and that's really good especially for like careers like teaching because you don't always know what you're going to say and you have to like make it up as you're saying it um, so that's really good for a lot of career opportunities. Well, forensics is a part of the debate class, and as a forensics person, I prep scripts for different events. I could do a dramatic interp or a humorous, or I could do one with a partner, um, and I've done all three of those. So you just like get a script, and you learn it, and you just make it into your own, and you can do whatever you want with it. Debate seems like a really fun class. Our next story is about drama club. What is your training in drama, and what have you done with it? Well, my first degree is in theater and oral communication, which is speech and drama. And so when I first started teaching, I, I had a drama club and we competed on the forensic, the New Orleans Forensic League. And I took students every weekend for quite a few years for competitions. Do you think eighth graders should join drama club? Yes, they should. It's going to be fun. Why? <laughs> Like I said, you know, it helps you become your own person, getting to act out all these different personalities and everything. Why did you join drama? I joined drama because it's like really fun and you get to do extracurricular activities after school and you just get to learn new things about um, drama. Next year, you 8th graders who want to be in drama and want to perform in front of audiences, then you can join. Thank you guys, now let's go to our announcements. Hey everyone, here are your announcements for this week. Hey students, want to talk to you about the formal coming up and the dress code for males. Uh, we just need you to look semi-professional. Uh, we want you to wear khakis or dress pants, no jeans. We want you to wear a dress shirt and a tie is optional. Just we want you to have fun, but we want to be semi-professional and uh, we want everybody to look nice and have a good time. Good morning, Warriors. With the semi-formal coming up, I just wanted to briefly talk about the dress code for ladies for the R event. One, number one, no low backs, nothing lower than your mid-back. No midriff, so your stomach does not need to be showing. That means no two pieces or cutoffs. The slits cannot be high slits, they must be low slits and stop at the mid-thigh. The tops must be not low cut, they must cover in the front and last dresses must be no shorter than four inches above the knee. Just a reminder to all students we need to be a central student with our ID. 
Um, if you do have a guest, you need to get approval from the administration. All students need to have an ID and need to be a current central student unless approved by administration. We can't wait to see you there. Okay, the big test is coming up. ACT Aspire testing will be April 30th through May 2nd. We want to encourage you to do your very best. Did you know that April is National Library Month? To celebrate, check out the pocket poem posters around the school. Answer the questions and turn them into the library for a chance to win a prize. Future Harbor Wildcats, if you're interested in participating in Harbor sports, you need to pay attention to these upcoming tryout dates. Softball, baseball, bowling, golf, and boys soccer all have tryouts coming up. Pay attention to the dates and go Warriors! Are you interested in Art Quest Summer 2019? It'll be held from June 17th to the 21st this summer. If you are interested, contact Ms. K or Abby Richardson for more details. Would you like to purchase a ticket to win one of these Mayan themed pens made from ebony wood and dyed elm wood? Tickets are available in Doc Hall's room 125 or in the library. That's it for the announcements today. Have a great week, Warriors. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week on Warrior News. Hello, Warriors. I'm Brooklyn Farmer. And I'm Cameron Jones. Today's April 15th. Girl. To make sure foster. The students here at Central are really thankful for such a great library. What was my life? <laughs>